Hey everyone, welcome back to Malik's Plays. We are playing State of Decay. Um, they've got the Game of the Year edition or upgrade coming out soon, so I figured, what the heck, let's try this one out and uh, we're going to start a new game because I want to. Uh, I might do the other DLC sections at some point, um, but we're going to focus on the very basic one. And yeah, so this is a fun game. This is um, the zombie survival horror game done right. This is not about one badass with a billion, you know, rounds of bullets fighting his way through a zombie horde. You are a survivor with other survivors um, trying basically to get enough food and supplies and everything you need to survive as well as progress to the story. Oh. Dude, these guys want to eat us. Oh, man. <laughs> there we go. Oh! Alright. Uh, trying to remember all the controls. There we go. Yeah. You okay? One of those psychos tried to bite me, but yeah. Yeah, I'm all fine. Alright. Man. Well, we can't just stay out here in the open. That's for damn sure. Indeed. Ranger Station? Ranger, Ranger Station. Station. Maybe we can find some help there. Uh-oh. What the hell, man? We're gone two weeks and what? <laughs> Everybody... Hold up. Oh. Uh-oh. Shit, these guys look messed up, too. Yeah. Stay low. Alright, so yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, getting into the story and just smack myself in the face. Because that's what I did. Alright, so B to crouch down and make yourself hard to spot. Okay. Ooh. Let's try to avoid these ones. So yeah, this is all about um, building your, like, shelter up. And, oh, crap. Well, there goes the idea of stealth. Oh, okay. So, well, we survived. But yeah, Kolauna Campgrounds. Okay. And my stick is almost broken. Which means I'm going to have to get a new supply. So yeah, like, weapons will break. Um... Pretty much everything, you need food, you need to have supplies to build up your a base, and morale can drop really dramatically really fast. Um, Man, can anybody tell me what not only that, but your characters will die. I mean, they can die, um, and then if they die, they're permanently dead. You don't get to reload to another section. You get to pick. You have to pick from the other survivors who are left. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, so... I appreciate it. There's a water tower out back. Oh, yeah. a good view of the campgrounds. Mm -hmm. Might be worth your while to climb up there and have a look around first. We've got some supplies in the locker over there. Take what you need. Yeah. Stay safe out there. Yeah, that's the other thing is that you got to get supplies. And not only with supplies, but you also have to work on, like, having... You have to have the influence. Oh, well... Oh, bat. Okay. So, take everything I can. And then... There we go. All right. So yeah, you have to basically. It's it's a big. It's building up supplies that you can use for later on. It's a very fun game. Good sidelines up there. All right. Hold to send the ladder faster. Yes. All right. Now we just survey the area and see what we got. I'm there. Gonna take a look around. All right. So, yeah, surveying the area lets you know, like, that you can see what's, you know, campsites and get, like, basically a lay of the land rather than it just being automatically on your map. And I really like this. This is a fun game. I haven't, I really want to play through some of the DLC. Like, the, um, the second one is basically a, uh, endless mode where you basically, uh, start the game up and play through, I think, oh, wait, there's still some areas left. What did I miss? Oh, there we go. Nope, there's still one left. But, yeah, like, there's endless mode is basically, like, just pretty much the same, very similar to this game. Ooh. Gunshots. Yeah. Guess we're not the only ones having a bad day. Suffice to say, okay, I'm gonna check. Let me see. How do I. I've forgotten how to check my map. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm gonna mark. 
There's gunshots that way, but we're gonna go this way. Just want to mark my waypoint. So yeah, uh, endless mode is basically like you can play through the game until you get like you basically five play through the game, get a bunch of supplies, and you take you and your survivors in. I believe it's like a bus or something in the first round, and then the game keeps getting progressively harder, harder zombies, more zombies, um, less supplies, and then every time you progress to the next level, your items get a little bit less. Um, like you, you can only take so many survivors with you. So the game is progressively harder and harder and harder until I guess at some point you can't play anymore. I don't know. I haven't like I didn't get a chance to really play with that one. Your survivor you start with is pretty random unless you choose a specific one. Uh, and then endless mode is basically you play as the military, and that sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, zombie! Ah, I swung my thing, son of a bitch. Okay, and now I gotta look around in here and try and find supplies. Oh. And the zombies is a big help. Yeah, I'm getting supplies now because it's harder and, like, I mean, one, getting some good weapons now is a big start because the game's progression gets harder very, very quickly. Um, especially with, like, it has an automatic timer um, for, like... Basically, the original game, when for any of the patchwork uh, sped things up, like if you had a car and you had a mechanics, you know, setup, you could repair your cars, um, but they took like all night. They took like 12 hours or something of real time. So it had that great mechanic, and they, I think they brought it down to like maybe an hour or something, which is also pretty fantastic, and I'm really messed up, so I'm going to take some meds. All right, so I searched that one. All right, we're gonna. I don't really need that. So I can pretty much see where I'm going next. All right, and that's not a house, so we're gonna avoid that. Oh, zombie! All right, but yeah. So every every one of your survivors is different. Like some of them will be more athletic. Some of them will be better for um, better runners, um, better fighters, better scavengers. I think, but ooh. but overall, you want to pick characters who are going to work. Like you have to, like they'll get tired, they'll get injured. You'll have to, you will have to switch between other characters, or you'll you'll die. You'll lose. Like I've done that before. I've run with just one or two specific characters, and one of them got eaten, and then I had some bunch of low level characters. Ah, you son of a bitch. Okay, come on. I need a breather. Yep, let's see, I'm out of breath now. Uh oh. And you can see the difference, like even tired, like I'm heavy breathing, my swings get harder to they get more labored. And I actually have to take a minute to rest or have a snack, which I'm gonna do now. And I'm gonna show you this real quick. Like you said, you can use R B or no R B. Hold on. Which button? I'm trying to figure out which one's the button to speed right it up. Now. Yeah. So run the run button ends up being the thing that speeds up searching, which is good. I mean, if you in some areas you want to do that, but other areas not not a great idea because I'm gonna I'll, try, I'll speed it up so I can show you how badly it can get. That. Oh damn! All right. So replace equip. How do I equip? Oh god. There we go. Uh, it's been a while since I played. I probably should have done a little more research first, but uh, done a practice run. But yeah, so yeah. Oh, sound is one of the big things in this game too. Like, see, that got loud, which has just attracted attention of a bunch of zombies. Well, a couple of zombies, and I can actually fortify areas and make it harder for them to get in. And it'll take them a while to bust through that. I can use that time to search. They didn't hear that. And then, but starting off, it's not too bad. Like it, it gets more difficult way late when you get into the other areas of the game. These guys are pretty easy to handle now. 
uh, seeing how this is pretty much the tutorial section. And if you look on the map, you can actually see the little red lines, which is basically telling me that this area is secure. There's no zombies hidden away in like the buildings. Uh, I can, once I get past this beginning area, I can actually do a hell of a lot more. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to show you that next time on Alex Plays. We're going to go ahead and pause here and come back.